All right, what's up guys? It's Aaron from How To's By Bros. And today I'm gonna to show you how to throw a dodgeball fast and hard, a foam dodgeball fast and hard. This is a really simple tutorial. It's pretty simple to throw a dodgeball fast and hard. There's a couple different ways you can hold the dodgeball. The first way to throw it fast and hard is you can do a curveball, which is uh, pretty much just like a normal curveball. You're just gonna hold them, hold your fingers like this, and then you're just gonna, you know, just go over the top and cross over your shoulder. It's just like our how to throw a curveball video, it's pretty simple. Just kind of turn and fire. Um, but how I like to throw a dodgeball is I'll hold it like this, okay? That way my whole, my hand is going straight towards the person. All my fingers are headed straight towards the person. If you're, if you're throwing a dodgeball and you're, you, you have time and you have some, uh, some energy to, to uh, fire at the, at the person, what you want to do is you want to do a simple crow hop. So what you're going to do is just put your step, your uh, right leg behind your left and fire just like that. I like to do it like that, just boom. That gives you a lot more power. But if you're throwing at people really quickly, you just want to take a quick step and fire over the top. You always want to fire over the top you also want to just fire down at their legs. You don't want to fire at their chest or else they'll be able to catch the dodgeball just like that. So you want to throw it right down at their legs and uh, so they don't catch it and really hard. So go right over the top, step over, fire. Okay, I'll show you. So straight, straight at their feet. You don't want it above, you, probably, you want it about at their knees, okay? and you want to throw it straight across, straight over your head. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We'll show you how to dodge a, a dodgeball in a sec, uh, or in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Have a good day and God bless, and I just want to share um, a verse with you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So that, what that means to me is God gave his only son so we could have eternal life. So Jesus lived a perfect life that we couldn't live and became the perfect sacrifice and died in our place and took the wrath that we deserve. So, um, you know, he satisfied God's wrath basically. So if you wanna learn more about that guys, click the link in the description and you can find out more about God and Jesus and all that, it's really, it's a free 10 minute video that shares the whole gospel with you. So click the link in the description. Have a great day and God bless.